remember he used to come down and when we were under 16, uh, he always used to say to us, the way to play football is to allow the ball to do the work. So we used to be training on the second or the third pitch and he would tell you what to do and he would take the ball and, you know, everyone would try and bounce it uh, and keep it up for 10, 50, 20, how many times I can keep the ball up. He would sit talking to you and he would still be bouncing the ball, you know, and, and he would never ever, the one thing I remember, he never looked at the ball. Uh, the ball stuck to his feet. The first time I saw George Santoro was uh, probably we were playing uh, under 12 at Highlands Park. Uh, we heard that uh, there were these Brazilian players that were coming to South Africa. I remember I was with Martin Cohen at the time and Fuzzy Shaw was our goalkeeper and we rushed to go and see uh, the main field. The first guy we saw was a, a tiny little guy who was quite chubby at the time. Uh, he looked like uh, a, a baby Maradona. And the other one was the thinnest player I'd ever seen, and uh, that was George Santoro. But when you saw them on the ball and you saw what they were able to do, uh, it, it was something, it was beauty to behold. Uh, we didn't have television, we had radio, so we, you know, you heard about the 66 World Cup and you heard about England and Nobby Styles and Terry Payne and Charlton and all these guys. But you didn't know Brazilians. Uh, you'd heard about some of them, uh, but you, you never had the ability to see them. And when you saw guys like George Santoro and Walter de Silva, you realised the extent of what we had missed out in South Africa. And certainly, I think that side uh, was probably the best white side ever. Uh, how they would have gone against uh, players of the calibre of Jono and uh, Asen Selengwe and uh, the, the Shaba and, and those guys at a later stage would have been interesting. Because they were such a diverse um, team, they had players from uh, uh, the UK who were hard players, they had players uh, from Europe, they even had uh, German players uh, that came out here. But uh, I don't think that you'll ever find a team uh, that had those individual players or the brilliance of those players at that time. And uh, it was quite funny because uh, I remember Joe Frickleton. Uh, he was playing fullback at the time and we were watching him and he had this reputation of letting you know who was boss on the field. There were a number of times where he went at George in training and George would just simply sidestep him and you would see Frickleton lying on the grass and everything and it became a bit of a joke that it got to a stage where Frickleton didn't even bother to go into him anymore in training. Uh, if you didn't have the privilege to see him uh, perform on a football field, you don't know what you missed.